Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We are continuing where we somewhat left off in the last one. So, it's a new recording session, new week for me. Get interrupted again by um, sure, the auto safe. I'm done with that, and if you want Morning, me to leave, office. that's fine too. Well, I'm going over here. Discuss the matter with Dud. Do whatever you goddamn please. I dare to fuck her station. She thinks we don't know her station. That horrendous old hag. How dare she? Hello there. Doing all right? Who does that woman think she is? Sometimes you just gotta humor her. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Um, can't remember who it was now. Who she was arguing with? I don't know, even know where she went to. Is this her? Morning. Hi, Karen. We got a Karen in the camp. <laughs> anyway, let's head on out, guys. Uh, we've got a mission which we started uh, a while ago. Uh, we're gonna go and do so. Um, one thing I haven't done is I haven't actually manage to figure out how to get all of the like just like pretty much all of the crap which is in here out um really um like a lot of these need to really go um like yeah they do up our healths and stuff like that but i think for the most part a lot of them need to go we're at 19 of 19 um in the tonics uh, I think what I'll do is I'll probably figure out how to do that and then we'll uh, we'll come back and get rid of them. If not, I'll just use them as we play through. Uh, anyway, um, I've had a look around the map just to see if there's any like um, any bounties or anything. None in Strawberry currently. Um, there's also none in Valentine. Uh, the only mission we have on the map is uh, this one over here. From what I can see, I don't see anything else kicking around on the map. Uh, where we've explored so far. Um, I'm also waiting for you guys to tell me if you want me to go get like a certain horse or anything. Um, if you want me to go grab a certain horse, uh, I do know there's, uh, I can't remember what it is, but it's like a, a white horse. Um, I know it's like up here somewhere potentially. Uh, up here probably somewhere. Um, I can't really remember exactly where. Off the top of my head, I would have to go research it. Um, if you want me to go ahead and get that horse? Go ahead and uh, leave me a comment down below just saying, yeah, you want me to go get that. And we'll go get it. I can't remember if we've got to do it like a certain point throughout the Let's Play as well. So, yeah, I'll have to probably look into that a little bit. Let's head on out starting a new week. Um, I'm actually recording these before the new year. I'm trying to get myself ahead a little bit on um, on videos. Um, as I'm... I usually record on weekends and I'm actually away for one of the weekends in January. So, um, I'm trying to get myself ahead a little bit. Also, get myself a little bit ahead as well because um, in February we've got um, a game that comes out and then in March we've got another one. Um, so probably at one point going to have three series on the go. So it means not a lot of time for me. <laughs> um, I like, uh, to be honest with you, it's like sort of like the end of the year. Like usually it's the end of the year um, where a lot of games come out. But uh, it looks like we're getting a couple of games come out in January, February, uh, sorry, March, uh, February, March. Sorry. Um, so I'm just trying to get myself a little bit ahead so we can... Um, I don't have to worry too much about recording. Um, like a couple of series all at once. And then especially being away for um, the weekend in January as well. But all is good. Um, our horse's stamina is actually a lot higher. I think I was just there. Uh, I wasn't tapping the, the gallop properly. I know there, I'm pretty sure there is a certain way you got to like gallop in this game, like to make the horse keep speed and not drain a lot of stamina. Who the hell's singing? Is that Morgan?
I don't actually realise that before. Oh, that was close. Right, okay, well, I know we're not too far away from where we need to be now. Uh, it's just up here and to the right, I do believe. This is the one where we had to go and um, grab the wagon. Uh, I think at the beginning of last week, I think. Looks like we've got some horses here with it as well. Somebody's busy shooting away. Let's head on over. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, <laughs> Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? <laughs> real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. <laughs> and let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Let's go earn some money. Yep. Yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but she'd still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block. Not my house is going good. Stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so it shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I'm in. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for <laughs> rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this again. <laughs> Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scared face. A right barrel of laughs. 
So, we lock the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Idiot. Okay, yet she never got around to what we were doing. Let's get it on the tracks. Ah! Whoa, whoa. That'll do. So if I got there a little bit too quickly. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Let's go. There we go, he's put his mask up good. Good. I think we get down there. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. Hey, he's down. Master. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. All aboard. So this can be Ladies over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me? No. You go okay. ahead and look for the baggage car. You sure about that? Wait, Jack. You sure this son of a time, bitch we ain't playing around here? Deal with this fella, will you? Which one this one? Everything you got. Money. Come oh. on. Just drop there as well. Try not to make out on a drop too much. Should check on Sean. Okay. I'll go check on Sean. None of you folks move a muscle. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. There's probably something in here, Arthur. 
I'm really low on health. Um, I don't know what can give me health quickly. Um, this will do. Chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, there's something here. Oh. So oh. gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Harsh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, alright. I know, that's what's worrying. What do you think I'm doing? Having a late night Some stroll. Decent stuff. All right, we should probably be going now. Not yet. I haven't finished. Come on, we should get out of here. We're looking good in here. Always something good in the chest. These folks are rich, all right. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? Way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Man, there's a few more of them torn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay. Great. Let's deal with them. What? There they are. Open fire, man. Oh, shit. We got more on the left. Don't be saying our name. Come on, John. Right, let's lose right, this way. Yep. Oh, 
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Got to be $100 here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. You think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. There we go. We got quite a bit there. Quite a bit of money as well. Um... Let me just have a quick look see at the map just to see if we are now wanted in this area. Yeah, we've got like a $50 bounty. Um, is it $50 or is that over here? Uh, no, I think that's south. Uh, we've got a $50 bounty. So we're, we're okay for now. Um, we've got a, a stranger mission over here. I guess we could go do. Go do that. Um... Next mission looks like it's up here in Valentine. Um, I'm also just having a look for like um, like bounties or something like that just to see if there's anything. I don't really see anything. I think what we'll do though is that I think we we'll head over into this area next anyway. So we probably need to get rid of that fifty dollar bounty. It's only fifty dollars currently. We've got we've got just over eight hundred. So right, let's head down this way then, shall we? Head over to the Stranger and Freak mission. No, I think it's Stranger and Freaks, right? These missions are usually fairly passive for the most part. I don't think we've got any missions to do in in town either, so. Okay then. I think I remember this one. Maybe. A photograph. I'm sorry. People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Never heard of you. Who? The famous <laughs> fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Nope. Ah. Oh, well. Nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Yeah. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Uh, so, you're famous for fishing? Very. Pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there. There's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. All right, so 
Um, we can go catch fish. We've got some fish maps, and um, which we can take a look at. But uh, we'll we'll keep on going on the way we are for now. Um, one thing I'm not really enjoying though is having the shotgun on our back constantly. Um, get rid of it for now. We only need one. Technically, two guns. Oh, wrong button. Uh, double action, yeah, we'll stick with that. Right, let's... I guess let's head on to our next mission here. Um, I've got nothing else really more to do. Um, there's nothing really kicking about like, um, like bounties or anything like that, especially in Valentine, there's nothing. Uh, just double check over here in Strawberry. Nope, there's nothing there either. Hotel. I guess what we could do is we could head in into Valentine and see if we can, like, maybe just get rid of some stuff. Uh, might be wise. And then go find John, I think. John's trying to find some stuff in Valentine for us to rob, I think. I think, um, if I remember rightly, the way the game goes is we find a good rob target in Valentine, we rob it and then move on. Which to be fair is probably not one of the best ways of help happened here. Oh hey you there think you could help a lady out? My horse up and died on me twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Sure. Yeah sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Where are we going? You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure, why not? Um, where is Emerald Ranch? Holy moly, that's absolutely miles away, but yeah, we'll head over there. It's in completely the opposite direction where we're going. Sure. I don't know why she was heading this way for. I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. <laughs> Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. <laughs> Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Sounds like a good haul. Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> <clears throat> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being, I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Oh, we're getting close now. Then we are. You practically talked the entire Here way. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Hm. 
appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. So we got a ring out of it. <laughs> the only thing is, we still need to like um, get our uh, health up here. Cooked game meat, but. Don't really have much to increase our health. Um, oh, yeah, we do. We have loads here. Um, there we go. What's with you? Our paws are quite up there now. Um, while we're riding, what we'll do is... Uh, we'll stop here quickly. Um, we will give our horse a bit of a brush. While he has a poop. <laughs> Uh, we'll give him a biscuit too, I think. There we go. Alright, so now we'll uh, head all the way back over to... Um, Valentine. I'm also trying to keep these videos as long as I can as well. Um, I'm not sure if the first one's over yet, but I think it will be now, more or less. Um, so I'm trying to keep them around about like 30, 30 or 40 minutes, around about that. Some of them go below 30, but that's my sweet spot. Sometimes I like to go a bit over, but uh, it usually just depends on the missions. That is all.